what's up guys it's time to see what's chapter 3 uh, we are in our reactor engineering course block number 3 and we're going to see what is a rate law and why do we need it and some stoichiometry applied to be able to use these rate laws now uh, if you've seen the course we already checked out chapter 1 which is molar balances in reactors then we saw a little bit about conversion and reactor sizing and now before going to isothermal design we need to check out what's the rate law and the stoichiometry behind that and yeah after that we're going to check out the isothermal design which is the basis for all this okay you can see we, we've seen this pillar which is mole balances then we're going to see right now rate laws which is section one and then stoichiometry section two Okay, let's check out the content before we actually start. I broke up this into section 1 and section 2. Section 1 is essentially rate of law, the introduction, what's it, uh, why do we need it, and we're going to start seeing stuff like reaction order, or very important is reaction rate constant, Arrhenius equation, all those things. Then, once we got the importance the, of the rate law, we're going to pass to section number 2 which is the stoichiometry we need to use in order to be able to use these rate laws. And we're going to see batch systems and continuous flow systems. Not only that, we're going to see that our stoichiometry is going to change drastically if we use liquid phase, which of course we, the constant volume makes it easier to model, and the gas phase due to the change in volume, well, makes you use the ideal gas law and you need temperature, pressure, volumes etc. We're going to see that later. But let's start with section 1, rate loss, and hopefully you like the videos. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love. 